Hello everyone and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today I'm going to be showing you guys something really cool. Now Mark my friendly zombie has gone ahead and invited us to a very weird village where I don't really know what he wants us to do. Hello Mark, is everything okay? Why have you invited me to a random village in the middle of nowhere? This seems very suspicious Mark, what are you up to? Hello Naveed, I know, I know, we're in the middle of nowhere. I do need your help though. I have collected the items that should hopefully work for spawning some giant mobs. If they don't work, come back to me and I will fix them. Thanks, Mark. Wait, 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 wait. You've set up some weird spawners for us to test out? Okay, this is going to be really weird. And you're telling me they spawn giant mobs? How big? Will they reach the clouds? I sure hope they do. Wait a second. We have raw beef, raw chicken, Raw pork chop, a ghast tear, some cobwebs, a bone, an eye of ender, a slime block, and also some TNT. Mark, are you sure we can make giant mobs out of these things? I'm pretty sure we can just eat these. <laughs> well, I do want to test out what Mark is all on about. So are you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, my block disappeared, but wait, it's a giant cow. Mark, you didn't tell me you build giant cows. I thought they were going to be live mobs, and I thought they were going to be a bit smaller than normal, but not giant ones. Whoa! Let's go into game mode 1, and let's go and see what this cow is all about. So we can actually go inside, and inside its head. Ugh, gross! <laughs> this is so cool! And look, we can even build like a house inside. That would be so amazing. Imagine living inside a cow, and maybe even have like a little cow farm inside. That would definitely be spectacular. I'm sure these villagers are like, what is going on over there? <laughs> Look at them. Ah, it's a giant cow apocalypse. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Well, I do want to see what else we can spawn. And Mark has given us some very weird items. And I really don't want to get them wrong. So, let's go and spawn the next one, which is a chicken. <laughs> I really want to see this giant mob. You guys ready? Three, two, one. My chicken disappeared, but I don't really know where it is. Have you seen it around, chicken? I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Wait, there it is, right next to the cow. Okay, I'm a little bit suspicious. I've never been in a chicken before, and it's kind of taken away a bit of the cow. Well, let's go and see what's inside, because I'm a little bit scared. I did notice some door. Ugh, gross. <laughs> This is so disgusting. Well, let's go inside the chicken and see what is inside because I'm very curious if it's- <gasps> Wait, is this some sort of furnace inside the chicken making some awesome KFC? That would be so cool. Well, Mark, this is really weird. I don't like this. We're building giant mobs and we're pretty much destroying them as well. Well, we do have a raw pork chop, so I do want to see what this spawns. Let me try and spawn it around here and hopefully it's something really big. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh, my pork disappeared. <gasps> it's a giant pork farmer. Okay, this is really strange. Mark, where are you? Are you right behind the pork? Can you actually see this? This is so cool. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's go inside and let's see if we can actually do this. <gasps> okay, it's empty. I thought it was going to be full of things. Let's go right inside his head and let's see if we can actually live inside. Hmm, what do you guys think? Do you think we could actually live inside its head? I think that would be really weird if we did, but it would also be super cool. Imagine living on top and being able to live with the villagers in a very friendly space. And you can spawn as many cows and pigs and chickens as you want. So, let's go and speak to Mark and decide what is next. Let's go into game mode zero and let's figure out what we spawn with the ghast here. I kind of already know. Mark, is it a giant ghast? I would love to know. So, let's go and do it. I'm going to spawn it right around here, just above the village. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Villagers, do you know where it's gone? I spawned a ghast here just around there, but I can't seem to find it. Wait a second. It's right over there. Okay, let's go and see what this guy's all about. And I have a feeling there's a house already inside this one. Let's go into game mode one and let's go exploring. Are you guys ready? Here we go. <gasps> Wait, look, I knew it. I knew there was something inside this one. It's so big. There is so much room for everything. <gasps> An ender portal. Cool. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what else there is. So on the next floor is more ender portals. Nice. And the next one, please don't be more ender portals. And there's another ender portal. 
And is there any more? No, it doesn't seem to be any more. So let's go inside and we might be able to find some ghasts. I'm a little bit scared. Hello? Any giant ghasts around here that want to go visit my ghast home? Hmm, nothing so far. So let's go back and let's go and speak to Mark because we only have a few more spawners left. So let's go and spawn them. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, the cobweb. Where is it? It disappeared. Um, hello? Anyone seen a giant spider around here somewhere? Mark, I have seem to have lost- <gasps> Wait, it's over there by the village. Is it going to attack the village? Sorry, villagers. Don't be scared. It's okay. He's a friendly. Whoa, not bad. It's not as big as the other ones, but it's definitely still really cool. And I'm not sure we can actually do something inside, but I, I think it's still cool. Well, let's go spawn the next one, which is the bone. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Um, where did it go? Uh, has anyone seen a skeleton? It's not that- Wait, it's over here! Okay, this is really strange. It's become sort of part of the land. Okay, this is cool. I kind of like this. And inside, we have the skeleton. Um, but that's about it. It's, it's made out of cobblestones. It's been crafted by the gods. <laughs> well, let's go and spawn the next three because we have to end this video ASAP. Me and Mark have to go and figure out what to do with all these giant mobs. The next one we have is the Ender Eye. Here we go. Enderman, where are you? Um, uh, Enderman? It's not with a spider, is he? Wait, it's right over there. Okay, let's go and have a quick look. And look at all the particles around it. It's so cool. Ah, I wonder if anything's inside as well. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Ah, oh, it's only wool inside, but it's still super cool. I love this one so much. Wow, it's very thin. <laughs> He's probably losing weight. Well, this is the best way to use up your wool. Imagine seeing this in your Minecraft world. And let's go and spawn the next one, which is the slime block. Hmm, I know what this one's gonna spawn. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, slimy. Slimy, um, where's my slime gone? Wait, it's way over there, and I, but I spawned it over there. Okay, this is really strange, but this one is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. Imagine being able to see all the mobs around your house and not being scared that there's a mob hiding right behind you and trying to attack you. And it has everything we could need. Furnaces, crafting tables, brewing stands, and even ender chests? Where did that come from? Well, this is definitely really cool. But I'm not sure if I could actually live in here. Imagine everyone being able to see everything you do. Ah, I can never take off my armor. <laughs> well, we do have one final one, guys. So let's go and check it out. The TNT. What do you guys think is going to spawn? Um, do you think it's going to be the creeper? I think it's going to be the creeper. Let's go and do this. And I want to spawn it right next to Mark. Mark, I'm going to spawn this crazy thing right next to you. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Um, nothing happened. Wait, it's right behind us. Mark, turn around. That is so cool. And it seems like there's some sort of house inside. Hmm, let's go and have a quick look. I do wonder what's inside this weird building. Where's the front door? Mark, do you know where the front door is or should I just break my way through? Hello, anyone here? Um, very strange. Wait a second. I know what this is. This is a mob grinder. So if we go down here, good. Go around here. I think us falling makes us die, right? I I'm not sure. But then we press this button and the pistons squash us. Ugh, gross. Let's go and see if it works. Um, can I press this button? Nope. Oh, doesn't work. Uh, let's do this. Nope, doesn't seem to work. Maybe I put it here. Let's put it right there. Aha! Uh -huh. See? It can squash mobs. That is so bad. Ah. So I'm guessing we just spawn as many mobs as we want right on the top and they will all die eventually. Hmm, very weird. I've never seen this. <gasps> and this one has lava. So if you fall into that one, you fall into lava. Oh, this is the weirdest thing ever. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've loved this so much, and I'm sure the villagers are going to be so surprised, especially because now there's so many giant mobs around their village. And I guess it's a great view. <laughs> oh, well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon with another crazy Minecraft video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and also comment down below which one was your favorite. So guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.